Ontario is a motorhead's dream. We have the world's largest freshwater cruising grounds with over 400,000 lakes, streams and rivers. We have the world's largest interconnected series of snowmobile trails. We have more highways than Texas and Montana combined. But most of us don't know that it's there. Five years ago, I dedicated myself to riding every paved surface in this province. And I can tell you that just 100 or 200 kilometers up the highway is an entirely different world just waiting for you to discover. And the best way to get there, get your truck, get your trailer, load them up, and head up the highway. But with a province as big as ours, Getting there is often half the adventure, and the best way to do it is with your trusty truck and trailer. Hi, I'm Mike from Canada. You might remember me from such videos as How to Hide a Snowmobile and Where's My Beaver? I'm here today on behalf of MyDealers.ca to share some tips with you about safe and legal trailering in the province of Ontario. Let's check it out. If you haven't hit the back button by now, you're probably still a bit intrigued, which is good because safe and legal trailering is your ticket to your next big ride. Five years ago when I started, bungee cords and this kind of wooden trailer here probably would have passed muster. But now I know everybody needs to be on to bigger and better things. It doesn't matter if you're towing boats, quads, motorcycles or sleds, we've got 10 tips for you adventure junkies that won't put you to sleep and will help keep the boys in blue at bay. If you're using only one, two, or even three straps to hold your vehicle to your trailer, you're doing it wrong. According to our sources, your vehicle needs four anchor points. That's a lot of time, but if you want to stay within the law, that's the rule. And no matter what type of vehicle you ride, never forget your handbrake. Make sure your tie downs are rated for at least half your vehicle's weight. This ensures that if two break, you'll still be covered by the other two. One of the things that seems obvious, but we often forget, is to check all of the lights and connections before and during our trip. These little plastic lenses and bulbs inside them are all that tell other drivers what we're going to do next. Perhaps one of the most important aspects of transporting your load is making sure you're not overweight. If you're just using your truck, go by the manufacturer guidelines. If you're using a truck and a trailer, well, we've all seen some pretty raggedy loads out there just make sure you're not overweight. When you attach your breakaway chains, it's essential that you cross loop them. The reason for that is that if your tongue comes off of your hitch, the tongue will land safely in the cradle. Make sure your hitch and ball are the same size. This seems like a no brainer, but if there's anything that's gonna mess up your adventure faster, we don't know what it is. If you're using a pickup truck or an exposed trailer, cover your load. There's always the chance that some stray bit of dirt, snow, or a piece of your machine can fly loose and hit another driver. Inspect your load at every stop. This includes your towing vehicle, your tongue, your hitch, your electrical connections, your breakaway chains, the trailer itself, the wheels underneath the vehicle, and everything inside the trailer and your pickup bed. There's no excuse for not carrying a spare. While the police in Ontario are an extremely friendly bunch, it's their job to make sure that the roads are safe for everyone. And we can help them by having a safe and legal load behind our truck. And that's it. With those 10 tips, you can have your next adventure in style. Stay safe out there, my friends.